I'm Lauren McCarthy, and I'm an artist and uh, software developer and an educator. B5.js is an open source creative coding toolkit that lets artists or designers or beginner, beginners or um, web developers or anyone really um, make creative art projects on the web. There were some tools like this similar for other environments so you could make something just on your computer, but it was really hard to share that with anyone else. And so uh, I felt it was really important that you should be able to make things and then share it uh, with the world. And then there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do online that you can't do with any other platform. So we wanted to explore what sort of art you could make using the browser as kind of your, your medium. Uh, a lot of people use it all over the world. Um, everyone from young children to adults and advanced programmers and kind of everything in between. Um, and they use it to make weird art projects, they use it to make professional, professional design projects, um, or sometimes it's just used to kind of sketch concepts and ideas for other art projects you might make. And total users, um, probably in the, in the thousands and kind of currently growing, we're working on uh, translating the documentation to other languages so it can spread even more. Um, and there's kind of a team of people behind it at this point that are teaching workshops and teaching it in classes and um, in colleges all over the world. Um, yeah, I think the, the idea here is that it's actually uh, kind of an alternative to some proprietary software like Adobe products, for example. Um, so the really cool thing is that this tool is for artists built by artists and um, it really, I think, brings the community together. So rather than paying a bunch of money to Adobe to you know, get some software to make your work, you are using something that's made by other artists like yourself. Um, and then when there's certain things that you want to do that aren't even possible, you can have a dialogue with those people making that tool. So the thing is constantly evolving and changing with the needs of the communi community and the creative things that they want to do. Yes, it's free and open source. Uh, so this week we are having our very first P5.js Contributors Conference, uh, which means we've had we have a group of about 35 people that have come from uh, as far away as China um, to get together for one week and work on the P5.js toolkit. And so this involves things like just working on the code, working on the documentation, um, making art with it, and seeing what you can do and what the possibilities are, um, but also things like thinking about the community and thinking about how we reach more people, who, how we want to kind of represent the community and the um, inclusiveness that we hope to foster with this tool. So we've been doing everything from, um, you know, code sprints where we're just writing a lot of code to having panel discussions and having sort of a conference aspect where people share their perspectives on these issues. Yeah, I think typically um, s the audience for this this tool or this sort of work has been kind of limited um, in, in a lot of ways, and it, we would like to change that. We'd like you know it to be more accessible for people, um, and so that's some of the translation work that we're doing, and the reason that we're work really focusing on documentation so new people can learn. Um, but we also want to make sure that people feel welcome, and I think that's kind of the first step, and so. If you're the sort of person that, you know, in the past has not used a, a tool like this or been a part of a community like this, it could feel kind of intimidating. So we are thinking a lot about, um, you know, what do we need to do to communicate the openness that we, that we want to? Um, and what, what's, what are our blind spots? You know, we could say, oh, we want more women or we want more diverse um, ethnicities, but um, we've had some speakers this week that are talking about um, you know, physical, mental, uh, different abilities, and uh, I think that whole uh, approach to thinking very broadly about what what is normal and you know what could be, uh, how could we expand our inclusiveness has been really helpful. We are making a tool that is empowering artists to uh, to kind of make more art, and so every hour that we put into this is actually you know, going to be multiplied by the number of people that take this tool and make something else out of it. So not only are we making our own art and our own experiments here, but we're making something that can be um, used by 
you know, the whole world and um, used in a lot of different ways and, and built upon. So this week, my main task has been just uh, getting this group of people with all these different skills and talents and backgrounds to be able to work together and work productively on this project. So we um, have been focusing on coming up with different tasks that need to be done and figuring out how to collaborate and uh, delegate and split up those tasks uh, in order to keep building this tool. Um, I've also been doing some, some work myself, so as people are uh, making changes and fixing things, I'm kind of incorporating all, all their changes into the single co code base. Honestly, I mean, there has been so much exciting stuff this week, it's uh, kind of mind-blowing, but the, the thing that stands out for me the most is that we have this group of people here, and uh, some of them are pros, but not many, uh, and professional web uh, or developers. Um, some of them have not written a single line of code before, and yet, you know, you walk into the, the studio and everybody's working productively. Everyone is making a huge contribution to this tool and they're um, kind of self-organizing and moving things forward. And so that is really exciting for me and it's been a big goal of this project to broaden our definition of what is contributing to a, an open source creative tool mean. It could it mean more than just uh, being a, a hacker. I just want to add how thankful I am to the studio for this opportunity. It's really, um, it's taking the, the tool to the next level. It really is. Um, and I, I can't describe in words how uh, profound the, the progress we've made this week is in terms of technically what what's, uh, the tool is capable of, the documentation and education materials around it, and just this like week as a touch point for the community and a kind of idea of what's possible.